Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Four Strings Drummer, the channel that's all about ukuleles. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some strumming techniques, and we're going to focus primarily on a thumb strum. Okay, so nothing too difficult, just a nice, mellow sort of a strum. We're going to take it in a couple of different levels, as we normally do. So if you're just getting started off, we're going to have a real nice, easy uh, strum. And then if you're a little bit more advanced, I'm going to show you some other little embellishments and tips and tricks that you can use to really pull even more sound out of your ukulele. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the song that I've chosen for this week uh, to demonstrate this technique is called uh, Song for the Myra. And it's a really beautiful uh, song from the east coast of Canada uh, out on uh, Cape Breton Island. And, uh, and it basically just talks about... Uh, this man's past and his family and how he misses them uh, and he really wants to go back to be with them but here's the basics of the song if you don't know it it's just it's about four chords it's just C out on the Myra F and warm afternoon C up to G7 old men go see fishing with F black lines and G7 spoons back to C and if they catch nothing, if they never complain, see. And I wish I was G7 with them again. And then the chorus goes like this. Can you F imagine, see, a piece of the universe, G7, more fit for princes and see kings? Boom, boom, boom. If I give you ten of, say, your cities from Marion Bridge D, and the pleasure it G brings, G7, and then back to C, and then you go back to the uh, verse again. All right, let's go through some of the techniques now. All right, so let's take a look at this strumming technique. And as I mentioned, we're going to basically be just using our, thrum our thumb today. And the idea here is to keep a really nice sort of a mellow sound to this strum, okay? Now, as we go through this, I'm going to show you from a basic level to a little bit more of an intermediate kind of level. And one thing I really want to um, get across is when you get to that point where it's just starting to get hard, that's the level that you want to be at, okay? You want to push yourself a little bit. But don't get overwhelmed if towards the end where we're doing a little bit more advanced stuff with some chord melody, etc., you're finding it really difficult or you're getting lost. Um, don't get frustrated. Stick to the level that you're at and work on that. And then in a few days, go back to the video and move to the next level. Again, you want to push yourself a bit. But don't overdo it because that's where you're going to just say, oh, you know, I can't do this or I get too frustrated or whatever. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off with this first thing here and we're going to just put our C chord on. And with our thumb, with the fleshy part here is where we're going to strum. Now, this song is in three, four time. So it's going to be one, two, three with the strum. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just nice and simple. Just three down. Two, three, one, two, three. Out on the marble. Okay, just like that. Two, three, one, two, three. All right, now if you're comfortable with that, we're going to just go up to that next little level. This is just a small little step. So you stick with the same strum, but what you're going to do is you're going to now start to put a little bit of an accent on the first strum out of the three. Okay, so more like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. And all you're doing is just kind of doing a full strum of all the strings, and on the two and the three strum, Maybe there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either just lighten up the pressure that you put on it. Or you can um, decrease the number of strings that you're strumming as well. So on the first strum, you 
getting all the strings on the second and third strum maybe you're just getting the second and and third string of first second and third string so you can hear the way i'm doing it there it's more the uh third and second string that i'm strumming on um the third uh, the second and third strum if that makes sense okay Out on the mother in warm afternoons. Okay, so play with that, and then what we'll do is we'll take it up another notch. Okay, here we go. So again, that sounds nice and mellow, right? Let's take it to the um, next little technique that we can add here. So for this part, what you're going to do. going to come back up so it's down 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 up down 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 up down 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 now when I'm coming on the up you'll notice I'm not doing it with my thumbnail not like what we do with a um, sledgehammer strum right that's very bright and very kind of louder um, and, and this is much more mellow. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of coming back with the side of my thumb, like that, not like this, more like this. So it's down, down, sorry, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. And what I want you to think about is not so much that you're going straight with your thumb. You want to think about it as if you're brushing it like with a with a feather or a, or a leaf or something, right? You're kind of dragging it and you're dragging it back down. And it's something that's soft and pliable that's going to come back up. Um, and that's what's going to give you that nice soft sound. I'm kind of almost using my knuckles sometimes that, uh, and, and that's what... Keeps it nice and mellow. And one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, try that out. All right, so for this part, we're going to start to pull the melody out a little bit more. And you're going to use uh, a combination of those techniques that we've already worked on for the strumming. And here's what it sounds like. Again, it's sort of a strum through style of um, chord melody. All right, so I'll just play it for you so you can get it into your ear and then we'll talk about how we do it. Doesn't that sound nice? This is the perfect song for this type of, of playing this style because it's such a nice, mellow, easygoing song and you don't want to overpower it with anything too harsh, okay, or fancy. So let's look at the, um, the technique that we're using here um, for the left hand. Um, but really, again, I want you to focus a little bit more on the right hand. And uh, so I'll show you where to drop your fingers, etc. But what I want you to focus on is getting that, keeping that nice, mellow strumming sound. Okay, so here's the way it goes. It goes out on the mirror in warm afternoons. So let's get that sound. So all I'm doing here is I'm dropping my uh, second finger here at the third fret on the second string. And then I lift it out on, out on, just like that. And then I drag back up again, so I'm doing an up strum. Okay. And 
as I drag up, I'm dropping my first finger here on the third string at the second fret. And then I lift it, and then I drop it again. Okay, one more time. And again, try to get that side of your thumb more than your thumbnail. Now we're going to go to the F. And you're going to strum all the way through on the F to make sure that you get that first string, because that's the note that you really want to hear ring. Okay. Again, start from the beginning. So when I go to the F, again, we strum through, we get that A, boom, and then we drop our uh, third finger here at the third fret on the second string, lift it, and then you go back to your C chord and you drop your second finger here on the um, second string again at the third fret. All right, one more time from the beginning. go to the G7. So you just play G7. So it's just one, two, three. Oh, go fishing. And when you go to fishing, you're going to the C chord here. And then you go on the second string with your first finger at the first fret. And then you're going up to the third fret with your second finger on the second string. Then you go to the F. G7. All right, again, from the beginning. F, strum them all. Drop your third finger. Back to your C. You drop your second finger there on the second string. G7. When we go to the C, we run up on the second string from the first fret to the third fret. Then we go to the F. Then you lift your first finger here. Drop it again. Black lines and G7. Okay, one more time. Again. your first finger okay so again it keeps that nice mellow sound all the way through all right let's take a look at the chorus now so for the chorus what we're going to do is we're going to start with the F so it's can you So let me show you that. So we start with the F. Same kind of a deal, right? We're going to strum all the way through because we want to get that A ring. And so it's can you. And then we drop our third finger here at the third fret on the second string. And lift it. Back to your C. And then you drop your second finger here at the second string, third fret. Then you go to the first fret with your first finger on the second string. And lift it. All right. 
get started the app again. One more time. F. C. Now we go to the G7. And all you're doing is you're lifting that first finger. And you drop it again. Back to your C. And you drop your second finger. Then you lift it. And you drop your first finger on the second fret of the third string. Then you lift it again. And that helps you to run back up to the F. Okay, one more time. F. Same again. So you just strum all the way through, get that A string ringing. Drop your third finger. Lift it. C. With your extra finger. Then you go to a D here, okay? And then you're gonna drop your second finger, sorry, your pinky finger here at the fourth fret on the third string. Back to G, G7. All right, let's try it again. So start on your F. it down, G7, lift, drop, C, now go to D, third string, fourth fret, G, G7, Okay, and that's the melody of the whole song. It's such a beautiful song. All right, we're gonna play it through now. So whatever level you're at, if you're still just working on that thumb thing, play down, down, down with your one, two, three type of a strum. If you wanna do a little accent on one of the three strums, go for that. If you wanna start to drag it back up to give yourself another little accent, use that. And then if you wanna push yourself and do the chord melody as well, Give that a try, all right? And I'll do an instrumental part where you can play around with that and uh, try it out in uh, different sections of the song. All right, let's get into it. All right, folks, Uke of the Week this week is a beauty. This is a brand new one. This just came in. This is the Anui Nui uh, Singer series. This is a new series for them that's just come out in the last... Uh, little while and uh, this is their tobacco sunburst this is all mahogany solid mahogany with this beautiful stain on it and it's it's I love it because it's very understated and has a really nice sort of a vintage look similar to like an old Gibson or something like that the old guitars um, where they had the stain just around the edge and they leave the center section that gives you that nice warm mahogany look some of the uh, sunbursts that you see are kind of a little bit too in your face for me with the big yellow spot in the middle or whatever. You know, I mean, it's just a personal preference kind of thing. But sunbursts originally were brought out, I think, to hide uh, poor quality wood. And so they painted them and made them look cool. But this one certainly doesn't hide any kind of anything at all and if if anything it really highlights the gorgeous grain on this thing i'm going to do a more in-depth uh video just on this specific instrument but uh, suffice to say that it is just something else you can see here it's got those goto um planetary tuners on the back this beautiful headstock with the asymmetric uh, shape to it and it's got that nice little curl built into the top of it there all top quality materials, rosewood, you've got abalone here, rosewood for the bridge as well. Um, just gorgeous. This is literally one of the nicest ukuleles I have ever played. So I'll put a link down in the description if you want to check out more about the specs, etc. on it. Um, 
but yeah, I'll be doing another video on this one specifically, so so watch for it. Folks, don't forget to join our new Facebook group, The Four String Strummers. Link's down in the description below. You can um, chat with people from all over the world. We get a really, really nice group of positive-minded folks. Everybody's putting videos on there, which is so great to see. If you're not comfortable putting your videos on, that's cool too. Just get on there and chat. Put a photo or two of your favorite instruments. Uh, lots of fun to connect with all these people. I've got friends from all over the world now, so um, it's just been a, a great experience. Uh, and don't forget, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. I'm, I see the, the subscription numbers are continuing to climb, but still it's about 70% of the viewers aren't subscribed. So if you could, please just hit that subscribe button. It would really help me out a lot. All right, folks, let's play the tune through now. Well, out on the morrow, in warm afternoons, all men go fishing with black lines and spoons. And if they catch nothing, they'll never complain. I wish I was with them again. The boys in the boats, all the girls on the shore, Teasing the ones that they dearly adore And into the evening the courting begins I wish I was with them again Can you imagine the peace of the universe More fit for princes and kings I give you ten of your cities, a Marion Bridge, and the pleasure it brings. Out on the Myra, on soft summer nights, bonfires blaze to the children's delight. They dance round the flame, singing songs with their friends. I wish I was with them again And over the ashes The stories are told Of witches and werewolves And an oak island gold The stars on the river They sparkle and spin I wish I was with them again princes and kings and I give you ten of your cities for Mary and Bridge and the pleasure it brings and out on the marrow the people are kind they treat you to homebrew and help you unwind and if Come broken, they see that you mend. I wish I was with them again. But now I'll conclude with the wish you go well. Sweet be your dreams and your happiness swell. I'll leave you here for my journey begins. I'm going to be with them again. Can you imagine the peace of 
the universe more fit for princes and kings and I'd give you ten of your cities for Marion Bridge and the pleasure it brings I'm going to be with them again. All right, folks, so some nice, mellow Canadian content for you today. It's a beautiful uh, folk song for you. Give it a try uh, with that nice, feathery sort of a technique that we worked on, and use that technique in some of your other repertoire as well. I thought I'd use this song today just for something that's a little bit different, but to me, it really highlights where this type of thing really shines. It helps you to pull out a little bit of the, the uh, melody in the background for you without overpowering things. All right. Have fun with it. Until we see you next time, if you've got any questions at all, drop them down into the comment section. I'm always more than happy to help you out. And again, until we see you next time, keep smiling, keep strumming, and have fun. Maybe with one of these videos right over here. All right, bye for now.